I recently did review videos on these two machines, the cheapest CNC router on Amazon and the cheapest CNC laser on Amazon. But if you could only buy one, which one of these machines should you buy? All right, when it comes to comparing these two machines together, I could only buy one of these exact machines. I would buy the CNC laser. Stick around because I'm gonna tell you why and we're gonna compare a pros and cons list of these two machines. All right, so first, let's go over the pros of this CNC router. First of all, price is gonna be an obvious. To get into something that can actually look like a CNC router, for 130 bucks, I don't know how they do it. The second pro is the engraving. <laughs> Now, technically, this is just a engraving machine. You can do different types of engravings. I did a couple examples of the Johnny Depp coasters. The cool thing about the engraving compared to the laser is with the laser, you can engrave, but you have burn marks. Here, you can engrave wood, plastic, or whatever it is, and you're just left with the engraving. The third pro is that this uh, CNC is upgradable. You can upgrade the firmware. You can upgrade the spindle. You can upgrade... Um, different components here to make it a more capable machine. Now, the software that this comes with is just generic software, but it's relatively functional and uh, it had speed control in it and it showed where the router bit was in correlation to the design that you were cutting. So honestly, it was, it was pretty impressive for $130 getting into this. Now, again, I'm not saying it's the greatest thing ever, but I'm talking about what for what this is, it was impressive. All right, so cons for this CNC router. The first one that jumps out is the size. Its bed is seven inches by four inches. So not very big. You're not gonna be making very big things on this CNC, and that is not really upgradable. You're just gonna have to get a different, bigger CNC. And all the other cons that I have pretty much surround around its size. Uh, you know, what kind of material are you gonna be able to get in here? The best use for this that I can think of is making PCBs, little circuit boards that'll fit right here, and it can carve those and do a good job. I've made some coasters. You could engrave names on things. You can do very small designs on very small pieces. You're not gonna be doing any heavy lifting with the spindle. In fact, the spindle mount here is actually injected molded plastic. So not a lot of rigidity, but overall the size and just the overall capability of what you can actually do with something this size is the main con here. All right, so let's move on to the pros and cons of this CNC laser. Now, this was the $99 laser that I found on Amazon, and many of you have not been able to purchase it. You can look through the comments of the video, and it says it's out of stock. Unfortunately, I have zero control over that, and I don't know when it's gonna be back in stock. But at the end of this video, down in the description below, um, check out the links to the alternatives that I've listed. The first thing that jumps out is the size. It is, the work area is 18 inches by 18 inches, very much larger than the CNC router. So obviously that's gonna enable you to do bigger projects. Another pro of this CNC laser is the different materials you're gonna be able to use. You're gonna be able to cut paper, wood, uh, cardboard, uh, probably some thin plastic. Uh, and when I say cut, possibly cut like through those, but you're gonna be able to engrave all of those surfaces. Remember to check, do a little sample, maybe a little research before you throw a material in there and just engrave it with a laser. Um, some of those fumes can be toxic, so just remember that. But you have a lot of options on what you can actually engrave. All right, the next pro is the ease of setup. This was a lot easier to set up than the CNC router. It was quicker, there's just fewer parts, to be honest with you, and the X gantry here actually be came pre-assembled and you just had to run the belts through it. So some cons of this CNC laser is you need to do something about fumes. You don't have to do that on the CNC router. <coughs> so you need to do it in a garage with the garage door open or crack a window or a door with a fan sucking those fumes out. You are burning things with the laser. You're cutting things with a CNC router. So fumes are something you have to consider with the laser. All right, the second con is obviously both these machines can engrave, very, very similar. 
but with the laser, you're actually gonna get a burned look. Now, some people might desire that, but some people might not desire that. It changes the look, it changes the wood of uh, the engraving is gonna be darker, and sometimes it can be hard to control uh, what exactly that looks like. All right, the last con on this list is software. Now, this currently as it sits is not compatible with uh, Lightburn, which is a popular software, but it does come with its own software that is limiting, but it's completely functional and it's just a matter of messing around with the settings and figuring it out. All right, so that's a quick overview of each machine. Now, why did I pick the laser over the router? It comes down to versatility. You can just simply do more with this laser than you can with this router. For example, you could lightly engrave like a picture or uh, something like that, like just a very, almost like a print on wood. But then you could also turn up the power and you could deeply engrave something to where if you wanted to fill it with a resin or a glue, um, you could do that. The other big thing is the size. The size of the project that you can do with this laser is about four times bigger than the router. So even if you were gonna cut parts out and assemble them together and make, make something, you can only cut a seven by four inch piece on this, where here you can cut an 18 by 18 inch piece, much larger, and you can get multiple pieces on there. So size uh, does come into play here. Honestly, after using each one of these and putting them through their paces, I just enjoyed using this laser engraver more than this CNC router. Now, if you wanna get into CNC routers, I think this is a great place to start. 130 bucks, you can learn just the basic ins and outs of how these machines work, how they as assembling them together. And then if you wanted to move up to a bigger machine like a Shapeoko or an Avid like I have, and you have zero experience, you're intimidated, maybe this is some place that you start. But if you're just looking to make things and you wanna have fun, I would go with the laser. If you had to pick just one of these from the videos that I've supplied, which one would you pick? Let me know down in the comments below. I will leave a link to an alternative uh, just in case they do not get this laser back in stock by the time this video comes out. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.